Hi and welcome to this video and what I'm going to be covering here is how the new controls assignment works for USB devices in Velostrone. So I'm in the menu for it here but if I just click back here you'll see that I go all the way back, if I come into settings here and then USB controller setup and that will only show if my controller input here is set to USB. If this is set to audio then you do a mic controller setup. If it's set to USB then you do a USB controller setup. So this is where I started and the first thing you have to do is plug in your USB device and this particular USB controller supports plug and play so you can plug the device in after the SIM has started and it will still detect it. And you'll get this view here at which point you have to assign a controller so you click the assign controller button and then it asks you to move a stick so I just moved the stick on my Tyrannus doesn't matter what stick you can flick a switch whatever as long as it detects which USB device has made a change it will then assign it so it's now done that and as you can see here my Tyrannus is already set up but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and redo the setup so you can see how this works so if I just draw your attention to the quad top right here, that's actually showing what my controls are doing. So I'm rolling left and right, pitching forward and backward, your left, your right, throttle up, throttle down. So that's your verification for your control directions is this little quad up here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to assign a, a axis or controller stick to an action and what you'll see down here is the various actions and they're split into throttle up and down roll right and left pitch forward and backward your right and left then we have a race start toggle which is for a switch to allow you to start and stop races via a switch and then camera angle adjust camera up and camera down and camera field of view adjust increase FOV and decrease FOV and what you'll notice is that the right and left ones I haven't actually assigned uh, that's because you don't have to. The easiest way to do it is actually just to assign the action to the the throttle rather than throttle up or throttle down. So I'd assign, I'd click this button here to assign my axis to the throttle. And then I can check on the quad here whether my throttle up, throttle down is correct. And if it's not correct, I can just reverse it here rather than going through and individually assigning what up is and what down is and you know and so on what right is and what left is basically just detect roll and then if it's wrong click this button to reverse it so we'll go through that process now so at the moment you can see my quads working correctly if i click axis zero here it's going to ask me you know, do i want to replace this axis with something else and i'll say yeah so it now asks me to zero my sticks, so I put the stick in the middle, like that, and now it asks me to move it. And once I've done that, you can see that at throttle up, I've got full throttle, throttle down, they're stopped. Now you can't see my Tyrannus, but you have to take my word that it's the correct way around at the moment. But that won't be the case for every control, so we'll see what happens as we move on through here. So the next one is roll, and obviously my roll stick is already in the middle, I don't need to put it in the middle. Um, it's only throttle on a radio that's likely to need centering because we have a, uh, a throttle that stays in the position you put it on most radios but for roll obviously it will already be in the middle so I click the axis here and I'm going to replace it then it says zero it, well it's already zeroed so I don't need to worry about that so just leave it alone now it asks me to move my roll stick so I just give it full deflection and it's now assigned that roll and you can see Pushing left gives me roll left, pushing right gives me roll right. And I'm just going to show you, if I'm holding roll left in here, and I click this button, it goes to roll right. So that's the reversing functionality. Okay, so we'll put that right. So now we're going to do pitch. And for pitch, click the button. I'm going to replace it. By the way, the first time you go through this, you won't see this menu. It will just go straight to the detection screen this next detection screen it'll go straight here if you haven't got something already assigned so this is going for pitch now so I'll give it full forward and there we go we've now got pitch and then your replace that leave it alone 
give it full left yaw and now I've got left and right yaw in there throttle up pitch forward pitch back roll left roll right now on my Tyrannus I set the two dials on the front to be my field of view on the left and my camera angle on the right dial I think they're labeled S1 and S2 on the Tyrannus so we'll do those next so camera angle adjust which I'm going to put on S2 so angle adjust there we click that one it says don't want to replace it yet I make sure it's right in the middle which it is and now I just have to remove it so I'm giving it a nice twist and it's then said yeah that's fine Do you want to use that and yet yeah, I'll replace that so I'm using camera angle adjust is now on axis 5 on my right hand dial and field of view adjust as you can see that was actually set to axis 5 so now it's removed it so there's nothing here so now I can show you what happens when there is nothing assigned here so I'll click this and it goes straight to the detecting of center and it asks me to twist it twisted it and it's detected axis 4 and we're good so the last thing I want to set is my race start toggle so I'm going to do that with a switch and you, know, you can see here it's not expecting an axis it's it's expecting a switch for this or a button uh, and I put that on switch F on my Tyrannus so if I click here I do a replace it says center it was a switch so there's nothing to do and then I just flick it and it's detected it and that's it that's my controls assigned and at this point I can just hit back and we're done that's the Tyrannus set up now I'll do another video where I show you how to set up the Tyrannus itself and you can find that linked underneath this video so you can see how I've actually set up my channels and my outputs in the Tyrannus but the basics of it are that for Velostrone 1.3 it's different to 1.2 in 1.2 and 1.1 and 1.0 you used to have to set offset um, and weight in the Tyrannus uh, in order for it to detect the controls properly but in 1.3 we don't use that anymore you don't have to use weight you don't have to use offset you just set it up as a completely standard uh, channel you don't make any adjustments to it at all you just assign your channel input the channels you're going to use and the outputs and that's it no changes to weight or offset at all so that's an important point to make because in 1.3 that is different and I'm sure a lot of people will get caught out by having weight and offset still defined in their Tyrannus now if we were going to do the same for a USB device like a gamepad we can do that so I'll go back into USB controller setup and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in an Xbox controller let's just plug this in okay so as you can see it's detected that there's another controller now so I can I can assign a controller here so let's click assign and I'll move the stick and there we go now it's detected my gamepad and you can see on my gamepad I have a whole different bunch of things defined and it remembers all of these things so when you plug in different devices it actually remembers them so I'm just moving the sticks around here, pitch forward, back, right and left, your left and right, and the throttle stick. All working correctly. So I have previously defined my gamepad. I won't go through the process again because it's exactly the same, but I just wanted to show you that if you plug in another device, it gives you the option to assign a controller. So now I'm using my gamepad for Velostrone, but let's say I want to use my Tyrannus again. So I can click assign controller, move a stick on the Tyrannus, and it switches back to the Tyrannus and it's as simple as that okay that's it see you on the next video